Hello, I'm back with another one. Let's make some decadent, delicious umami indomie noodles. Oh, yes, look at that. So good. Okay, so I went in with my pot and I'm using some oil i'm using some chicken infused oil like oil i fried chicken and i got some chopped up onions you can use a quarter of an onion depending on the quantity and i'm going to go ahead and add some curry powder i really really love frying my onions with curry powder sometimes it really really smells so good i'm going to use some minced beef And you don't want to salt or season this at this point because you don't want it to just soak up all that moisture you get. Okay, so just break it apart and keep frying. So once all that pinkness is off our um, minced beef, you will know that it's ready and good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some chopped up scallions. I am actually using one, a portion at this point, and I'll be using the rest for garnishing. The secret to this noodle is stew, <laughs> oh, pepper sauce. So I already have the stew and pepper sauce, so you're just going to take some from that, and you're going to add to your main spray. So if you were wondering what you're going to do with your leftover stew, or what you do differently with your stew, this is the recipe for you. I'm going to add some water and I'll boil this water already. So you do not want to add too much water so that it doesn't get too mushy. I am using the small pack of Indomie and I'm using about five packs. So you just want to take out all the seasonings and set aside. My seasoning goes into my sauce and I'm using four of those seasonings. I'm going to leave one out, okay? So I use some... Um, chicken broth for this recipe i forgot to tell you i had some leftover chicken broth that had some pepper that was infused with ginger and garlic so if you have any broth please use it because we are going to be using something else for this recipe and i will introduce you to it later so it's going to absorb all of that sweetness it needs it to be tasty or it will just go bland okay this is indomie noodles that I, we're gonna be eating like a full meal without having to think we're eating noodles if you know what i mean so yes our potatoes i've cut up some potatoes i have pre-cooked them and we are going to add that into our noodles and i'm going to add about a teaspoon of oyster sauce Ooh, and this is just going to elevate the taste and the flavor of this dish so mix all of that together and cover don't worry the liquid is enough to cook our noodles because we're going to cook this on very low heat. To give this noodle some extra umami flavor and taste, we're going to garnish with some sardines. And of course, I'm going to add some geisha into my noodles. I just want some fishy taste in it. This is so good, so delicious. With the potatoes that are so soft. Oh my goodness, you will absolutely love this noodles. But this is something you prepare when you have a little bit of time and it's not a quick fix that you want. But honestly, it doesn't take much. Don't forget to go in there and move things around so the liquid goes on and everything looks nicely. Look at how piping her. It looks good. I tell you. It looks so 
girl. It tastes amazing. So I went in with my kind of sardines and I'm garnishing with the rest of my scallion spring onions. So you want to mix all of that up until everything is well combined. Our noodles is practically ready. So we're going to dish our noodles and serve with some sardines. This is rich, decadent and delicious just as it is. You can serve with some avocado or with some vegetables, but we enjoyed it just, just as it is. Thank you so much friends and family for watching. Keep a date with me in the next video. Bye.